Welcome to this demonstration video on effector fields for the Niagara system in Unreal Engine. In this video, we will guide you through the steps required to utilize effector fields to control particle behaviors and create stunning visual effects. Step 1. Adding the effector field module. To begin, we need to add one of the effector fields module to our Niagara system. You might need to uncheck the library only option to find it. This module outputs a float mask value of 0 or 1 based on the particle's positions in relation to the effector field. Step 2. Creating actor user parameter. Next, create an actor user parameter to link with the effector field actor. If you've already have a user parameter ready, you can link the actor component to that user parameter. This will allow you to pass position data to the field actor as needed. Step 3. Utilizing mask output value. Mask output value is the value output from the effector fields. Now you can use the mask output value to manipulate other modules within the Niagara system. This is crucial for achieving the desired effects based on particle location data. Step 4. Importing the effector field actor blueprint. After setting up the parameters, import the effector field actor blueprint into your level. Ensure you select the corresponding effector field actor to accurately represent the effect field you are using. Confirm your selection. If you switch to another type of effector field, remember to update the effector field actor accordingly. Step 5. Under the Details tab of the Niagara system, assign the BP effector field actor as the field actor. This establishes the connection between your effect field actor and the Niagara system. Step 6. Adjusting position and scale failed. Finally, adjust the position and scale of the effector field actor to fine-tune the field's influence. And that's it. You've now successfully integrated and utilized effector fields. Thanks for watching, and happy creating with Unreal Engine.